discovery to get more money from his investors. All right, here we are at the meteor crater. But he arrived there in 1929. The cross stock market crashed, the start of the Great Depression, and nobody was willing to lend him any money to continue drilling operations here in the crater, even with the Navy news that he'd actually found the meteorite itself. Late 1929, he died in Philadelphia, unable to, to have raised any money, and for all intents and purposes, the drilling in the crater ceased. However, a very important thing did occur. Because he had patented main claims on the two square miles of this crater, and he had improved that land and drilled it for more than 10 years, he actually had title to this land. And upon his death, his sons and daughters inherited this two square miles of meteor crater in the middle of the Arizona desert. The question then was, what to do with it. Fortunately, they decided to not throw good money after bad and actually believing their father. He was also, in addition to his mining here, he was also very interested in the fact that this was a meteor crater and did what he could during his mining activities to preserve